So last night I was out soul winning. I got to win a devout Mormon to Christ. Amen. You know, and I was really excited about that. This is the most devout Mormon. Because I've won a lot of Jack Mormons. But this is the most devout Mormon I've ever won to Christ. And, you know, I had said, like, man, this is great. I want it, you know. And uh, I, I put it on the internet, you know. Hey, you know, praise the Lord. I won this uh, Mormon to Christ. I'll, I'll soul win him. And some idiot comes on there. Oh, let us know how he liked the Wednesday night service. And be sure and send us pictures of him being baptized this Sunday. Yes. Well, I'll have you know, moron, that the Mormon that I went to Christ was an 82-year-old woman who can't leave the house. But you're going to let her rot in hell because you're too busy criticizing soul winning. That's right. Yeah. And because you're a Church of Christ pastor, not a Baptist pastor, because you believe that baptism is part of salvation. And, you know, all these Baptists, they need to change their sign and put up a sign that says Church of Christ. Yeah, right. Because that's what they really believe. Right. Because they literally don't think somebody got saved unless they got baptized. And they say, well, if they didn't get baptized, they're not really saved. They don't come to church. What are you, seven steps to salvation? Are you the church of Christ? <laughs> hey, I'm an independent fundamental Baptist. I believe that salvation is by faith, not of works that any man should vote. And the Bible says, but to him that worketh, not. That's right. And by the way, that's a verse that I showed that Mormon lady last night. But to him that worketh, not. But believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteous. See, I knocked on this lady's door, and the reason she got saved is because I asked her, do you know for sure if you die today, you go to heaven? And she basically said that she didn't know. And she and she was very, she said, I've actually been really worried about that lady. Because she said, at many points in my life, I have felt like I was going to heaven because she said, you know, I felt like I was doing good, I felt like I was... Uh, you know, following Christ, but then a lot of other things, I felt like I was not doing well enough, and she said, I really hope I'm going, but she said, I don't know if I've measured up or not, and she said, this has actually really been bothering me lately, and I don't know, and so I basically took the Bible and showed her how to be saved, she's 82 years old, she's been a Mormon for 50 years, she joined the Mormon religion uh, in her 30s, and been going, you know, 50 years. Just recently, she hadn't been able to go to church anymore because of health problems that stopped her from being able to go to church. And so basically, I was able to uh, open the Bible. Just God just worked this out perfectly to where she was wondering about that. She was worried about that. And he took her out of the Mormon church for a little while because of health. Get her out of the brainwashing for a little while. And then I was able to come along just at that right time, right? And open the Bible at 82 years old. Show her how to be saved. You know, first I, I spent a long time showing her it wasn't of works, because that's a big thing with them. I spent a long time showing it was by faith. I spent a long time showing that you can't lose it, that it's eternal life. And then I went into just the deity of Christ, and, and I showed her that, you know, Mormonism is teaching that there's other gods, and she said she had heard them say that and everything like that. And then she said, yes, they do teach that. There are other planets with other gods and everything. And I went through and showed her all that in the Bible, showed her and showed her and showed her. And at the end of it all, she, she believed on Christ, she asked Christ to save her, she prayed unto Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, Amen. and prayed unto Him and asked Him to save her. And she thanked me over and over again and said, now I know for sure, now I know I'm going, and was very happy. But, but ah, she doesn't get baptized, she's not really sick. I'm so sick of that garbage. Yes, I, 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 next time I hear that, I want to throw up. I'm sick of it. You say, oh, I can't believe you'd say that. Well, you know what? I can't believe that someone would actually pretend to be a preacher of the gospel and criticize soul winning. Yeah. And if you want to criticize soul winning, get out of here. You don't Amen. belong in this church. Right. Everybody wants to throw a wet blanket on our soul winning. It's because they don't love people or it's because they're That's worshiping right. Satan. Amen. They're following Amen. Satan. And Satan wants to come in and, and mess with soul winning. That's what he wants right. to do. I just met a guy a couple weeks ago who said, oh, I'm a product of door-to-door -door soul winning. He said, I was a, a young person, 19 or 20, and somebody came to my door from an independent Baptist church, knocked my door and led me to Christ. And here I am. Now I'm a soul winner. Now I'm a preacher. My parents were one of the Lord by door to door soul winners. And they won me to Christ. Don't tell me that soul winning doesn't work. Get thee behind me, Satan. I'll say Amen. to you, like Jesus told Peter when Peter was saying a bunch of garbage. He said, get behind me, Satan. And get behind me every Satan that wants to say that soul winning is, is phony and soul winning doesn't work. And unless they get baptized and get circumcised and keep the law of Moses, they cannot be saved. <laughs> You're a liar! That's right. There's nothing new under the sun. Back then they were trying to circumcise them. And, and, you know, now they're trying to baptize them. You know, what next? They'll be catechizing them. You know, they're going to try to do something.
try to say that it's not just believe on Christ. And you don't have to come to church to be saved. Right. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach, that thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised better. Thou shalt be saved, whether you get baptized or not. Amen. Whether you go to church or not. And hey, I'm all for getting baptized. I've been baptized. I go to church three times a week. I read my Bible every day. But that's not why I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven the same reason that that lady's going to heaven who will probably never set foot in this church, but we'll see her in heaven. Praise God. And if you don't like it, I'll help you find another church.